Hello, this is Patrick at 1CNC West, and what we're going to do in this training video is take a look at how we can create dimensions within 1CNC. Now before we get started, I want to talk just a little bit about the CAD view. The CAD view is very similar to the top view, but what it does is it gives you a white background. Now having said that, you can create dimensions in any view that you'd like. You don't have to be in the CAD view to create dimensions. But let me show you how you can get to the CAD view. One technique is to come down here to view, select view, and then from this dialog box just simply click on CAD view. Notice one CNC performs a zoom extents and the background turns white. Now again, you don't have to be in CAD view to create uh, your dimensions in that. But what I like about the CAD view also is that you can quickly get to it by just hitting the spacebar twice. Now you might have seen me do this in a video before, so if you've ever watched one of my videos and watched the screen turn white, that's because I quickly hit the spacebar twice to get to, to get to that. Alright, let's start to take a look now at dimensions. Those are going to be located within the drawing category within your main toolbar, right here where it says dimensions. And the first thing we really should look at is the dimension attributes. This is where you can set up things like your arrow style. You can see there's four different types here. There's also a dimension style. There's horizontal. That way your text will always be horizontal. Or you can say aligned font and the, uh, the uh, dimension will be aligned with your, with your dimension there. Uh, here's your different font styles. I have Arial selected for this and I already have my height set at 300,000 so all that looks good. So this is where you control the actual height. Now you can come back later on and change the height of existing ge uh, fonts in that by using the modify selection but for now think of this as a way to set everything up so your dimensioning will be correct. So we'll click OK to that. Why don't we start with just a simple horizontal dimension. So once we do that, one CNC wants us to select vertices. I'm going to left click right here and left click right here and then just drag down and then left click to lock that down. So there's our very first dimension. Let's go with the vertical dimension now. So I'm going to left click here. Let's left click that vertice there and I'll pull over and just left click to lock that in. Let's put another one over here as well. That looks good. Alright, now how about a radial dimension? So I just grab the radius there, pull up and then when you're happy with the location just left hand mouse click. That looks good. How about a diametrical dimension? So we'll grab that. I'll pull that up and we'll say that looks okay. Of course you have things like parallel. Let's do an angular dimension. So I'm going to grab both these lines here. And let's place that right about there. Now you also have things like uh, cross hatching, leader arrow and so on. Uh, let's, why don't we demonstrate cross hatch. Now to do a cross hatch you need to select your geometry first. So I'm going to use our chain select which will allow me to left click. I just pick the arrow direction then hit F3 and I don't need to chain select this guy but I, I do want to select him. I'll right hand mouse click. So now that both those shapes are selected we can go into cross hatch. Here's your cross hatch dialog box. You can specify which layer you want to put it on and you can also change between uh, different types of cross hatching as well. I'll go with aluminum on that. And then you've got your spacing here for that. I might change that to how about now oh, that's a little bit big let's make that a hundred thousand we'll say okay to that and there's the cross hatch on there for you okay I'm gonna undo that I'll hit control Z on the keyboard but just note you do have a cross hatch command another thing I like to point out is how you can change the size of the arrows or set that up alright now right now my arrows are kinda small if we come up here to file and hit properties there's an option in here called dimensions. It's right here. And within here, you can set up the arrow sizes. All right, so you have the arrow length and you have the arrow height. All right, and that's a percentage of your of your text. Right now I have that set to 40% uh, percent for the text uh, the length there. I'm going to make that 60% and why don't we make this 30%? So we'll click okay. So now if I make a dimension, the arrows are going to be a little bit different. Let's go to horizontal. I'll grab here and here. Let's push it up here and you can definitely see now that the arrows are are larger and again that's taken into account uh, by the actual size of the text. Alright, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.